But I'm gonna be using these guys right here. Today for the 25 days of Christmas, we are going to be mixing our own color pigments and forming in my very own custom foundation. But I'm gonna be using these guys right here. Oh. Hmm. Oops. Welcome back to the 25 days of Christmas. If you guys have stuck around this long, thanks so much. And let's get started with mixing our very own custom pigments. Right here, I got and making our own custom foundation shade. It's extremely helpful to know exactly what your undertones are. You can start by looking on the veins in your wrist, and if they are leaning more towards blue, that might mean that you have a cool undertone. If they lean more yellow, or excuse me, more green, that means that your undertone on your skin is yellow, and the blue in your veins and the yellow create a green colored vein through your skin. So that would indicate to me that you are a warm undertone. If you're a mixture between blue and green, there's a good chance that you're neutral. Also another good indicator is whether you tend to go towards yellow gold or silver. I know that there's other mixes like rose gold, which kind of makes it a little bit more difficult, but just look inside your jewelry box or look at the type of jewelry that you're interested in and see if it trends more towards the silver or the gold side. If you're silver, more than likely you're a cool undertone. And if you are um, yellow gold, then you more likely look to be a warm undertone. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and put um, a dollop of each of these and I'm going to use this palette here. So here we go. This one's not coming out very easily. That was really thick. I'm going to add some of this reddish brown shade and probably some white since I am in the light to medium sector. Oh, let me wipe this off. This is just a uh, blank canvas <laughs> that's got the saran wrap still on it, the cellophane still on it. So, you know, that's always nice, right? Oh, yeah. Get a little white pigment on there. Okay. Next up. When you know your undertones, then you can go ahead and create from there. If you're a warm undertone, like I said, you would probably have yellow. Um, and if you're cooler, you'll probably be blue. And this kind of is a brown, so it's like the starter foundation. So um, ideally, you'd want to take... Let me get a brush. Actually, this spatula will do just fine for the job. So I'm going to hold this up here for you guys. I'm going to start with a base brown kind of like our red if you will and then on to that I'm going to add just a little bit of what my undertone is and that is a neutral to cool leaning undertone so just a little bit I don't know if you guys can see it or not I'm going to add to this and then I'm going to mix the color together Basic color theory is that red mixed with blue gives you kind of purple, and then red mixed with uh, yellow would give you orange, blue and uh, yellow would give you green, so then you could also form a an olive, if you will. This is kind of trending towards the brown side, just so that it kind of helps you get your color... Um, well, it's used as a color corrector, but the LA Girl Pro Color P Mixing Pigments kind of help you get started, you know, mixing a nice brown. But it is a more warm toned. So this shade right here is several shades darker than my actual skin tone. So I'm going to take a generous amount of this white here and add it to the palette. And then mix the shadows together. Or mix the uh, foundation together. And just increasing the white as I go, adding a little more and a little more to lighten the foundation shade to my um, color. See how we're getting just a little bit closer? Let's go ahead and try it out and see how far away I am to my actual foundation. Focus. So we're pretty close, maybe just a smidge dark. I will continue to 
uh, mix this in first off and then make sure I add just a little bit more white. All right, and I'm continuing to mix the foundation. Now this is up against a white, white background, so it's going to look rather pink slash brown. And just maybe like ever so slightly, a little bit more white's gonna come into my palette. Do you feel like you've watched a Bob Ross painting show yet? This is gonna be a happy little tree right here. I'm gonna continue to mix this until we've reached a nice warm or cool toned, like pinky. I call it a pinky peach, that's cool toned, but I don't know if anybody else would. Let's go ahead and check to see where I'm at. And I'm just gonna check it right here. Now if I drag this down, it doesn't really match to the tone of my neck, but it does seem to be a little bit, actually this one right here seems to be a little bit better of a shade match, but this shade match won't match my neck as much. So that's where I kind of have to work with it. Let's see how close we are to one of my favorite foundations, the Physician's Formula Healthy Foundation in the shade Medium Cool One. I'm gonna take some out of the bottle and place it on my palette right here. Looks like there's a significantly more uh, neutral slash yellow undertone. So I think I might just go ahead and add a little bit more blue. Hmm. Actually, it looks like it has more yellow, doesn't it? So now would be the time where I could just take just a tinge, just a tinge of yellow to bring it back to neutrality for my skin tone. Although I'm not too far from it, so I am just gonna dip just gently and take whatever's on the tip of this, just go ahead and mix it in. And beginning to scrape up. <laughs> this is so cool, I want you guys to see it. And just a little bit more white. It looks like maybe we're still ever so slightly dark. I don't know. I tend to trend more towards a lighter shade in foundation than darker. Okay. So let's see how the two compare on my skin tone. Boy, they're so different. And it is oxidizing. I feel like I need to lighten this a lot. Just to get it to look correct. So here's some leftover on my spatula. A lot of it's not mixed in very well. This is not well thought out, by the way. Okay, so here we go. Let's take it. Let's do a fresh swatch here on my face. Yeah, let's redden it up just a little here. I want to pad my uh, little agenda. Okay, so just adding swatch right here to my face. And you can see that the color of the foundation is, like I said, a little bit lighter, but it also kind of blends in with my neck. And this is up, this is the healthy foundation. This is in medium cool one. And you can see that Physician's Formula won't go as cool as my uh, foundation will. But blending it in, it does look um, like it would match my neck pretty well as well. And there you have it. So this is the foundation that I use like on an everyday basis. It does seem just a little bit lighter, but what I do is I just add my bronzer. Or sometimes I take the Physicians Formula Healthy in like a deep warm. And that's kind of like what I use as a bronzer and just to kind of add a little color to my face but there you have it so this right here is like my custom color let's put some on the face and see what we think to me it looks just a little bit too pink I think it needs just a little bit more yellow just adding just a little bit more yellow onto my palette here I am going to go ahead and start using it just like a foundation. I don't know if these can actually be used like a foundation. It's a foundation mixing pigment, so technically um, you can. 
I think this seems a bit thick for me in my skin tone, but if I had to guess, this is pretty close to my Laura Mercier one that I had, and it was in a cool, it was the shade Accru, and it was a cool undertone as well. Oh, this doesn't smell good at all. It smells like really cheap fragrance. Um, like a really cheap lavender kind of fragrance. There we go. I'm just blending it all in. It seems to be blending pretty nicely. I'm gonna have to drag it down just a little bit to kind of mix in with my skin tone. It's, it's on the thicker side, so <laughs> if you are interested in the LA Girl Pro, I'm gonna link them down in the description box below for you, but also I just want you to know that these are, they're supposed to be a mixing, like you would just add it to your foundation. Okay, there we go. And that looks pretty much like my skin tone. It's a little pinker than what I would like, but it matches kind of my ruddy undertone that I would say that I have. So now let's take it one step further. Let's focus on the foundation shade that I have and let's see if we can add some pigment to it to make it as close in color as this one up here. All right, let's add some more Physicians Formula. This is gonna be re really, really difficult because this is a big old like sponge tip, like a doe foot. So I don't know how well, and I don't know how much I have left to be honest with you. I'm getting quite low, but I just feel like this foundation lasts and lasts and then it's so nice. So I've got a healthy amount. <laughs> Um, to my palette over here. And one thing that we did notice like before is it was just a little bit too light. So to darken the shade, I will just use a little bit of this reddish brown um, pigment up here. Actually, let me, just, let me just use my cleaned off spatula and dip into my palette. So just taking a little bit of this red, tapping it into the palette, and then I'm mixing it up. All right, getting substantially closer, I would say that I would add just maybe a smidge more of the red pigment if I were really, really trying hard to match exactly. Um, from here, I might even make it just a smidge cooler. So in order to make it a little bit cooler, you would add just a little bit of blue. I think I might've made it just a smidge too dark, so I'll just lighten it a little bit. Plus I do know that the physicians here, we need to make sure that there's a clear distinct line because now we've got the colors so close together that you may not even notice the difference. All right, here we go. Let's see how well I got to my actual foundation shade. All right, so I do have some makeup on, but I'm gonna go ahead and stripe it right here so you guys can see just exactly how close I really got. Take that off and clean it. And here we go. Oh, no. Okay, so I went ahead and just wiped that off right there. Should I do this side instead? I feel like this side's my good side. Right? Yeah, let's do. All right, here we go. Pretty good, isn't it? So that is how you can use some colored pigments to change up your foundation or make your own customizable foundation. If you like, if you like the uh, actual formula of these, you could do it. One more thing before I go. If you are a, what I would call rare light olive undertone, you can always add just a tinge 
of a green color corrector to any foundation to make it a little bit more olive or a, a little bit harder but you could do it mix blue and yellow thanks so much for watching guys i can't wait to see you in tomorrow's video bye